he knew he was flying to his death. On April 23, 1967, Soviet cosmonaut Vladimir Komarov boarded the Soyuz I spacecraft with full awareness that its design was dangerously flawed, seasoned test pilot and national hero. Komarov had played a role in developing the capsule and was alarmingly aware of over 200 critical issues, plaguing the spacecraft. Yet in the height of the Cold War, political urgency outweighed caution. The Kremlin was determined to launch the mission to maintain its edge in the space race against the United States. With heavy pressure from above and his own sense of duty, Komarov accepted a mission he knew might be his last. From the moment Soyuz I reached orbit, the mission began to unravel. One of its solar panels failed to deploy, cutting power to vital systems. Stabilization controls malfunctioned, communications became unreliable, and the capsule veered unpredictably. Through it all, Komarov remained calm, methodical, and heroic working tirelessly to bring the damaged spacecraft back to Earth. His final challenge proved fatal. The parachute system, meant to slow his descent, failed catastrophically. The primary chute didn't deploy fully, and the backup chute became hopelessly entangled. Soyuz I plummeted at terrifying speed, crashing into the step with a force that left only scorched metal and a charred remnant of a man. Komarov's death marked the first human fatality during a spaceflight and delivered a grim warning about the cost of ambition unchecked by caution. He died not from incompetence, but from a system that valued spectacle over safety. Yet in his final moments, he exemplified courage, sacrifice, and the extraordinary burden borne by pioneers. Vladimir Komarov is remembered not only as a casualty of the space race, but as a man of duty who dared to fly, even when the skies were stacked against him.